Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing that is the subscriber terminal of the wireless in local loop. That is how the subscriber terminal looks basically or what kind of devices are there at the subscriber terminal. So uh, in a system, you would be having a transmitter as well as a receiver. So uh, basically, uh, the subscriber terminal is a device which is used for accepting the signals from the receiver and deliver it to the subscriber. So uh, you can just uh, have the anomaly like uh, you are my subscribers and my signal basically is a notifications to my video. So you would be getting those uh, notifications when you subscribe to my channel. So similar kind of system works here. So for that the device could be a movable handset or it could be a fixed telephone device or a computer subscriber terminal so it could be anything from this so you may be uh, watching my video from uh, a computer or you may be watching from a laptop or you may be watching from a smartphone so uh, similar kind of setup is there so basically it's a simple subscriber terminal like normally you have at your home the landline connection uh, that device basically uh, you can uh, just keep it at one place or uh, you have your smartphone you can just move around and can communicate uh, next it must exist uh, within a particular subscriber that is receiver range and can be kept inside or outside the subscriber premises so it's basically like uh, normally in uh, Indian stores or uh, Indian shops what basically has uh, if there is a one particular uh, supermarket or uh, some other store uh, they usually uh, keep some kind of uh, a setup of a telephone system uh, in which you can put a coin and make a call so uh, it's a one rupee coin and you can insert that coin and you can make a call so that kind of uh, a system or that kind of uh, device is basically what uh, this is talking about so in that you can just make a call within that particular uh, range so that range is basically uh, mentioned over here and the terminal uh, has either of the wired or the wireless connection and the receiver connecting uh, it to the head end directly so basically you have that receiver end so that receiver end should be connected to the subscriber end and the head of that receiver should be directly connected so that the communication or the call can be sustained over a particular period of time uh, next the devices here which can be used are personal digital assistant PDA or it could be a laptop or it could be any uh, smartphone or a tablet or Chromecast or uh, something other device similar to it uh, next, depending upon the various kinds of radio technologies which are widely available, there can be n number of different terminals that is subscriber terminal. So depending upon the uh, technologies uh, which are used in radio communication, uh, n number of other subscriber terminals can be configured. So uh, for fixed wireless access, you have two of the single as well as multi-channel or multi-line devices which connects the conventional wired devices or where the conventional wired devices are used so uh, basically the old age devices where you can uh, have that uh, dial which you have that round dial which you used to uh, uh, dial that particular kind of system that dial up connection or that dial up system can be all integrated uh, or categorized into uh, the subscriber terminal uh, next uh, as I spoke, there can be single as well as multi-line devices. So multi-line terminal or multi-line devices serves more than single one because every line is routed as required to residential area or office or support to system or n number of public telephones. So if there is a, a single terminal, what basically it, it is one point to one point, point to point communication is there. So if there is a multi-line communication, what you can have is basically one point is there and you have n number of other terminals. So it could be connected to your support system at office. Similarly, at the same, same time, it can be connected to the residential area where you people live or it could be connected to n number of other uh, systems which could be then again to change to n number of different systems uh, next by single or multi-line architecture the WLA terminal works and provides communication facilities similar or more like a wire telephone system so it is expected to work or expected to provide functionalities like how a wired system is there and so WL must be functionally comparable to wireless communication systems so uh, whenever you uh, make or whenever you have that innovation or creation uh, while making that particular subscriber terminal it should be functionally comparable uh, by means of everything what a wireless system could give 
next it must support if it is comparable to wireless system then it must support applications like facsimile fax or television or telephone or internet and other services so well uh, that was all regarding the WLL subscriber terminal which was basically there in wireless technology so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got educated watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video